Hey, welcome to Tabletop Skirmish Games. I'm Lee, and in this video, we'll be unboxing the Gnomes of Agalda's Deep by Northumbrian Tin Soldier. Here we go, here's the Gnomes of Agalda's Deep by Northumbrian Tin Soldier, one of my favourite miniature makers, and these guys are based in the UK. Great company, and I've done a few unboxings for these already for some different products. But in this video, we're going to focus on this awesome set, the Gnomes of Agalda Deep. Now, this is going to be a range of 28 mil heroic scale white metal and resin fantasy miniatures. And you can use these for all different games. I think they focus a lot on Dungeons and Dragons, which is awesome. They're perfect for that. But I'll be using them for my own game, Weekend Warriors. And this set has got a great selection of models. I can't wait to get it open. The packaging they do with these little box sets is fantastic. So I can't wait to show you that. But this will give you an idea of what's included. You're going to get 15 different models in there. And some is going to need a little bit of assembly. We'll find out which ones. And obviously they're unpainted, so you have to paint them up. So yeah, these are made in the UK, which is awesome. They recommend it's aged 14 and above. And I'll put links to their website in the description below so you can check them out. And I'll also put all the details of the price at the end of the video. And some links where you can save a little bit of money on the website too. And support the channel because there'll be affiliate links, so I'll get a small commission for each sale. So there we go. So let's get this open, and we'll check out what's inside and have a real good look at these awesome looking models. So I'll just get rid of this film first. And I wanted to choose this as my first video for the new year to get it open, because I really enjoy these box sets. The miniatures are great fun. And so, yeah, I was really looking forward to sharing this for you. This was one of my Christmas presents, so great to finally get it open. Let's push this out of there, and we'll see this nice box. So there we go. You get these lovely black box with the embossed logo all in that gold foil. So that looks really nice. Let's get the lid off. These are perfect for gifts as well. If you want to introduce someone to gaming, this is a great way to start. And then we're looking like we're getting some big bases there already. So I'm expecting these models to be a real good size. And then we get another logo there. we we'll just peel this open. Uh, it's really thoughtful how they're all packaged. Some of the best packaging, I think, for models I've seen so far. And then inside, they're all protected nicely as well. So we're going to get a mix. We're going to get the resin miniatures, as you can see here. And we're going to get some of the white metal. We've got loads of bases here. So let's grab a ruler real quick and we'll just measure those and see what size they are. So these little ones are going to be 28 mil bases. And it looks like there's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And then we've got these larger ones, which are the 50 mil bases. And it looks like there's going to be five of those all together. So what I'll do, I'll get these out and we'll have a good look at them. And we'll get the camera in a bit closer so you can see them in more detail. Because some of these are fantastic. I mean, they all look great, but I can't wait to see the resin ones. These will be my first resin models I bought from the company too. So excited about that. So let's move the camera, we'll get closer in, we can have a good look at the quality and the details. So let's have a look at the resin ones first, and here we've got the Warty Toad. And this looks great, it's come out good, a little bit to tidy up here, but certainly not too bad at all. Some nice details, and this is a great looking miniature. This will go on one of the larger bases, so that should give you an idea. Let's have a look at the size, let's measure it across. So we're looking at almost 30 mil across, and then the height of this dude is about 25 mil high so real good size this is going to look great against some of those other dwarves there so that's the first one the warty toad then we've got the pack toad another great one now this is all put together in one go so this is just one piece nice and easy again a little bit of tidying up but not not much more than you would expect so some really nice details on the pack toad he's carrying all sorts of gear there so another fun looking model. Love that one. And then we've got the Hungry Toad. He's a little bit smaller than the Warty Toad, as you can see. But he's going to have the little pixie or the little elf coming out on the tongue. So we'll get another piece in a second and have a look at that. So it looks like we're going to put a metal piece and glue that in to the tongue there. But nice bit of tidying up there and there. But that's about it. Some nice details again. So there we go. That's our toads to get started with. Some great looking models, and these are the first resin ones I've had from this company. And so, yeah, really impressed with how these have turned out. 
Right, I've just grabbed that tongue piece, and here you can see, I'll just focus that on there. We've got the little pixie in the tongue. Now this is resin as well, so I was wrong there. I thought it was gonna be metal, because it was in with the bag of metal. But this is gonna be a resin piece that we'll glue in there. And so let's pop that in. Let's have a look. I'm trying to do it by looking at the screen, but I need to look at the actual thing. Oh, oh and I've gone and snapped it off. Okay, I'm gonna have to glue that. That's a bit rough there. So that's gonna glue in there like that, and that'll fix in nicely. And then we'll get that all painted up. So there we go, that's pretty cool. Right, now we're on to the metal miniatures, and this is the first one. This is gonna be the biggest of them all, the Juggernome. And so this is gonna come in a few parts. It's got a decent amount of weight to it, this piece. And there we go, so you can see all the details. We've got a little frog's head poking out there. And we've got two awesome characters stacked on top of each other. We've got a little piece here that we'll just glue on. So these are gonna go at the bottom for his hands there. And then we'll get a little hand to pop in there with an arrow and then this guy's got a crossbow so this could be a little archer in weekend warriors which should be great so there we go but he's got a lot of armor so it'd be interesting to play um an archer who's got heavy armor because usually i play them with light armor so that they can be like moving around quickly but this guy's going to be moving slow also having two weapon options that's quite fun so that would be really interesting to put this guy together so really looking forward to doing that but there we go there's the juggernome now we've got the leader, and he's got a little dagger here, so we just have to glue that in place. This is a fun looking model. I mean, these are tiny little little guys, these little gnomes. I think I called them a dwarf earlier, but the gnomes. So yeah, just under, what, about 18 mil wide at the widest part. And then you're looking at getting close to 30 mil tall. So there we go. So just over an inch tall. So these are going to be fun little figures. And he'll just sit on this 28 mil base so that'd be really nice so that's the leader this guy's the knight i really love this one the sword is pretty much bigger than he is some really nice features on this it's got the shield on the back as well so if you want to use the shield option as an extra piece of gear you could do that no problem so that's a really interesting model love that one who's next right so this guy now is the elder and he's going to come in two parts. I don't know if you can tell. This is a squirrel here. It's a bit hard with all the light and all the texture. But once it's painted, it's certainly going to stand out. But he comes with this mushroom base. And he's got a face as well. And then that'll just glue in there like that. So that'll be a pretty decent sized model. So that's the elder. So he, he might make a nice wizard of some kind. But there's lots of options in here to put together. Some really fun little war bands for weekend warriors. So I think it's going to be great. Loads of character. So... That's the Elder. Next, let's go with this guy. And this is the Fairy Catcher. So he's going to come with this net. He's got a fairy there. And uh, he's got some pretty angry eyebrows going on. Another nice little one. So that could be quite fun coming up with some ideas for this one. So that's the Fairy Catcher. And then we've got... Oh, let's grab it back. Then we've got... The tracker. So we've got a little axe and we've got the crossbow. So again, one piece, no gluing or anything required here. Nice and easy. And so that's one of the female gnomes there. You can see the face is great. And then the backpacks on the back. Really nice. So cool. I love these metal miniatures. Really nostalgic. Bags of fun. And then here's another one I was looking forward to seeing. The alchemist. Now this guy looks great. He's got this crazy mask going on. This will paint in like a bright colour. They go for green. I think I'll stick with that. A bright green. And then he's got his stuff with some magic spells. Potions hanging off him all over the place. Yeah, really awesome. So that's the alchemist. Then we've got the champion. So he's going to be another kind of similar one to the knight, I imagine. He's got the sword, the shield, and he's got plenty of armour there. Probably go for like with weekend warriors. Put him at an armour 4, I think, in the mid range. So, medium armour for this guy, I think. So, that's the champion. Then, we're on to the Frogmancer. And this could be one of my favourite ones. We've got a little piece we have to attach here. And this guy will just cast these magic frogs. So, again, we'll paint this in, like, a bright green colour. And there you can see he's casting that out. That looks awesome. This is probably... Yeah, this could well be... One of my favourite ones out of this set. It looks great. So I love that guy. 
that's the frogmancer and then we've got two little characters called toadlings so let's get them in there if you can see them up properly so we've got two poses one's kind of just walking almost jumping it looks like he's eating something there i think he's just licking his hand and then we've got another one crouched down almost like little gargoyles these so these would be little familiars or little beasts so we could use these alongside one of the ones you'll see in a minute which is the shrew tamer so you could have a familiar with them so that'd be great for the tamer character in weekend warriors really nice awesome models yeah let's grab that one next then so this is the shrew tamer i think this is probably my second favorite this is the going to be coming in two parts and so that will like glue onto there so we've got this shrew another female gnome there she doesn't look too happy and so we've got a little beast there to take into the game with us. So this is perfect for the animal handler, tamer, um, kind of druid style fighter. So yeah, really great. Love that one. And then we've got a few extra bits that we're going to need to just glue on. We've got a little treasure chest here that I didn't see on the picture of the book, uh, the box. So that's really nice. Little treasure chest. We've got a little banner that we can use. So again, I'm not sure who's going to have that one, but we can put that with someone. We've got a spare backpack that might go on one of the the toads. And then we've got a little um, shield with maybe a little dagger there, is it? Or could be, yeah, a little shield and dagger that we could place on another one too. So you might want to give that to a toad maybe. I'm not sure. So there we go. That's all the different models. I think for me, I'm loving these resin ones. This pack toad is awesome. So there's so much detail on that and it's come out really nice and crisp. Hardly any tidying up to do at all. Uh, yeah, really nice. So really impressed with that one. But I love the shroom chain tamer and I'm liking the frog monster as well. So this guy's pretty fun too, the alchemist. So lots to choose from. I think these are going to be great to put together into some little war bands. But there's certainly enough here with 15 models that we could build a real good warband to take into a solid campaign. And you're going to have lots of options to choose from. You could build all the different warriors with these, no problem. And I think it's going to be great fun to play. So there we go. There they are on some of the bases. We've got quite a few that don't need any assembly at all. So you've got the two of the toads and five of the other characters that are just all built already. Also, this little chest is already built. And then these ones here have just got a few components to put together. This one's probably got the most with three parts to glue on. And then we'd also have to dig a little hole into the base there to get that to stand up. We've got the little toadlings here and there's no bases for those, which is a shame, but I've got some 25 mil bases, which I think will be perfect. So we'll just use some little small bases for those and just trim those and put them in like that. So just note that you won't get any little bases for them in the set. Bit of a shame really actually to not have that, but um, no problem, you just buy them. You don't have to put that on a base. So you'd have one, but I'm still short one there for this little guy. So I think it'd be good to use the smaller bases for them anyway. So, and I've got a bunch of them, so that's no problem, is it really? But all up, a really nice little set. I'm really happy with these. I think they've got bags of character. They're going to be some kind of villains in my game for sure. And I'll definitely be using them as trying to create a really varied warband with all the different warrior options. And I really like it's going to make me think about how to put together some of them differently. Like this one has got two weapons. So I'll certainly be wanting to use some kind of role that allows them to have access to two weapons. So we'll look into that. And also having the archer, but with the heavy armor, that's quite a different combo that I wouldn't normally be drawn to. So that's really great. The shrew tamer is one that's perfect for me. I like playing the animal tamer kind of warriors. So that's really good. And then lots of others, lots of sorcerers, wizards and all different things going on there. So I think we've got lots of great choice. It's going to be really fun to incorporate the toads into the game as well. But I think for Dungeons and Dragons, if you play that, you've got some nice options here too. And these could certainly be some bad guys. Once I get the rules finished for the solo play, um, these could really be the kind of enemy you go up against with the AI rules. So we'll see how we do that. And um, that could be introduced. But I think these would be some good enemies to go up against. But I hope you enjoyed seeing this new box set. I love tin, uh, Northumbrian Tin Soldier products. And these box sets are awesome. They make great gifts. If you've seen some of the other videos I've done, you've got the Guardians of the Riverbank. That's a really nice set. And also the Goblins of Goblington. That's great too. But I think if you want to give someone a gift, I don't think you can go wrong with these box sets. They're packaged really nicely. 
all well protected, really easy to build and get painted. And I think the Guardians of the Riverbank are a really good one to start with because there's no, not even any assembly required there, I don't think. So really easy to get going with. And they just make a nice collector's piece too. So even if no one wants to play with them, it's just fun to get them painted and keep them on, the, uh, on display somewhere. I think that'd be awesome. So really nice box set altogether. I'm really happy with these. And I picked them up in the sale, the Black Friday sale. So I saved 20% on them, but you can get them usually retail price for 65 pounds, but they've got them on offer at the moment where you can save 8% still. So you can save five pounds and get them for 60 pounds altogether for the full box set with all the miniatures uh, in that nice protective foam as well. So that's really great. So I'll put links for that in the description below. Again, it's going to be an affiliate link. It won't cost you anything extra. You can save that £5 and support the channel here as I'll get a small commission too. I hope you enjoyed the video and had a good look at what's involved and included in this box set. And I'd love to hear what you think about it. So let me know in the comment section below. Also, have you tried or ordered any products from Northumbrian Tin Soldier? I'd love to hear about it and which ones you picked up, which ones are your favourite too. So let me know in the comment section below. It'd be great to hear from you. If you'd like to have a look at the goblins of Goblinton and the Guardians of the Riverbank, then those videos are up on the channel too. And I'll be doing a big unboxing soon because I've got a ton of miniatures from here of all the different dwarves and some other characters as well, which I want to show you because they come in individual model packs and they're really fun. Again, great gifts, but also really fun to build for Dungeons and Dragons or for Weekend Warriors. So look out for that video coming soon because I think I've got about 50 models to look through and they've all got tons of character. So I can't wait to do that video. I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreon supporters who make these daily videos possible. And if you're interested in joining the community, it'd be awesome to see you there. And I'll put a link for that in the description down below. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Please like if you like it, subscribe for more videos like this, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to join me next time on Tabletop Skirmish Games.